Hey Scorpio, welcome back to Soul Vivin with Carrie. Back again with another tarot card reading here for you. Scorpio's tarot reading is going to be for money and career predictions and forecasts for the month of March 2021. So we're going to tune into tarot to see what money and career business ventures have for you, okay? So this is a horoscope through tarot. Okay, I'm so excited to get into this. I did pull out a couple cards for you guys already, Scorpio. So I'm just going to go ahead and get straight into it, okay? So the first card I pulled out for you guys with this Little Mermaid card here is is the card of chance allow the sea to wash its chest of wonders ashore you'll never know what the tide may bring in so this is telling me that there's blessings coming in for you okay a lot of blessings coming in for you so you got to trust that this month you're being led in the right direction in all aspects of your life not just money and career because i got a lot of messages for you guys when i was pulling out these two cards so um you do get cancer i feel so i feel like your your energy and your your um, emotions may be fluctuating just as the moon fluctuates every two days or changes signs every two days. Your moods um, when it comes to work or job related or or business or, you know, just working in general, it's going to be really up and down. Like you're going to have a day where you really want to go to work and then the next day you're kind of not really feeling it. I feel like that's just something that's going on as in a collective for everybody. But um, this may even change like hour by hour like one hour at work you're gonna love it and then the next hour you're like okay i'm over this i'm ready to go home you know like you may also be dealing with a lot of pregnant women like if you take notice um if you work in customer service or you work helping people scorpio you may be dealing with pregnant women or maybe you're even pregnant whatever the case is um with this card i just got that for you and i just felt like i needed to point it out okay um now um I, I don't know if it's Chiron or Chiron, whatever it says here, um, healing. This is a key, okay? Um, and ultimately, you're being handed a key. It did come out in the reverse. I do want to point that out. So I do feel like there's some resistance to healing because um, Chiron is or Chiron is all about healing, okay? So if there is some type of resistance towards healing, you guys, this is going to block your blessings to come in this month as far as money and abundance okay now abundance like i say it can come in all sorts and forms okay it's not just about money it can be about just letting love flow and feeling at peace within your own heart and opening up your heart to different situations so <laughs> yeah i just got confirmation from a bird outside but um with this card here what i'm seeing is some of you um you guys um this card is a blend blending of energies in between Saturn and Uranus. So it's it's about, you know, having that structure, but also um, remembering what it is you've been through and how you've got there. OK, so a lot of you may be um, changing jobs, OK, because this talks about job change, job changes in connection with self healing as well. So some of you may be, you know, working on self healing and and while you're working on self healing, maybe you you um, make a video that talks about healing or something, you know, to help other people. But this talks about job changes in some type of way. Okay, so I just wanted to touch up on those. Don't want to spend too much time on these cards, but I feel like I needed to address it because I feel like most of us may be going through that. Okay, I'm a, I'm a Scorpio myself, so I feel like um, we can all um, resonate with, the, with these cards here. Well, I know I can at least. So let's go ahead and see what Tarot has for us. Okay, so let's put these cards aside here. Now, like I've been telling my other groups, you guys, um, watch from your sun sign, Jupiter sign, MC, and um, maybe your rising sign will, will resonate with this for sure as well. Okay, don't don't really recommend watching from your moon sign, but if you feel like you want to, go ahead. But watching all your signs will bring a lot of clarity um, into your the transformation you're going through. Okay, so I definitely feel um, you sharing your emotions with people around this time, especially if it is people you work with. Okay, or just sharing your emotions, telling people how you feel. Some of you may be bringing a lot of feelings into your work as well. Like you may be extra emotional at work, or you may be telling people at work your business. <laughs> um, that's just something I heard. But let's go ahead and see what's what's up. Okay, Scorpio, Sun, and all other signs, please. Scorpio, for the month of March for work, business ventures. Now, I do want, I'll take those. Um, so we got the Queen of Cups in reverse with the Hierophant card here as well. 
And I want another one towards the end of the month, please. The end of the month. So I do feel you um, a little bit out of your element here with the Queen of Cups in the reverse. I do feel like this is very much temporary. Okay, you will soon come back into yourself to bring in the abundance that you need to, Scorpio. But let's go ahead and get one more card before I start your reading. So I'm going to take that one. The Six of Cups. Yep, moving forward. Healing. Very beautiful. And you're letting go of the negative energies because it's what you need to do in order to stand in your power. Okay, with the Hierophant card here. I feel like you're really taking note of people in around you, especially when it comes to your work or your job, okay? You're taking note of the people that no longer serve you. You're taking note of the people who um, don't give you equal give and take, especially when it comes to coworkers and stuff like that, okay? Or maybe if there's a job that you're no longer happy with, you're going to find some sort of balance, whether it's within that job or learning to let go of that job, okay? Whatever this may be. You're going to come into um, your power as the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is someone who's assertive, who's um, also very attractive. So um, you may be dressing up for work a little bit more. And I know this doesn't have much to do right now with um, money, but I'll get into that in just a minute. I do see a lot of stability here for you. Okay, with the Queen of Wands... I see a lot of stability in itself, okay? This is someone who's abundant and who knows their worth to a certain level. And this is what's going to put them in their power to learn to let go of negative energies in around them to further expand in their work or career. Okay, so with the Six of Cups here, this is letting go, right? This is almost even putting your emotions aside, even though you have such deep emotions uh, at the moment and there's a lot you're going through behind the scenes. Um, I feel like you're going to have to put those emotions aside and act a little bit out of your element as this Queen of Wands, you know, where you're assertive and you know you can get things done because it's what it is and it's what you have to do, right, with the Hierophant card here. So you're learning to put your feelings aside, but don't be sure you're not ignoring your feelings or ignoring the healing that you have to go through because ultimately, uh, Scorpio, I do see that you're going through a lot of healing here and I do see some resistance, okay? But ultimately, um, you're going to come out winning and you're going to come out letting go of what you need to let go of, right? Okay, some of you have inner child healing you need to do. And um, I don't mean to get into that right now, but that's something that's coming through very clear. Okay, overall, though, within your career and business, expect things to be very stable and to work out very well. Because with the Hierophant card here, this is stability. This is you're going to be meeting people who um, are going to be giving you equal give and take as well. Okay, there, there's going to be people who are going to be sharing um, the same amount of feelings that you're sharing towards them. And then you see the crow right there oh my god so was it it was just right now right when i was like oh that's confirmation from the bird yeah so it was right outside my window so this is this may be your spirit guide for the month um crows okay where they're leading you your intuition is leading you into a certain direction okay ultimately you are this queen of cups though so you're going to be holding a lot of um wherever it is that your intuition leads you okay go go with the flow Go with the flow, especially when it comes to money and career, investments, saving. Okay, with the Hierom Hierophant card, I see saving here as well. Okay, I feel like there's places you want to go and visit. Um, and this is going to require for you to be very, um, I don't want to say stern, but almost strict, right? Like the Queen of Wands in this Hierophant card here. Pretty strict um, with your money in order to save up to maybe somewhere you've been wanting to go for a very long time, okay? Maybe maybe somewhere you wanted to go as a kid. The wolf card here, yeah, you're letting down your guard, I feel like. <laughs> With the mouse, you're no longer scared of what's to come for you, especially when, when it comes to your money and career. It's like you're not letting um, negative energies in around you okay you're not letting negative energies in around you let me go ahead and just get one clear card here on what scorpio has for money and career please money and career for scorpio so i'm gonna go ahead and take this card we get the earthworm so what this is telling me with the earthworm scorpio is that you're much more powerful than you think you are okay so you there is there is some some blessings that are trying to come through right but it's almost like this month you're gonna have to concentrate on on healing your inner self in order to bring in the abundance <laughs> and i know it sounds a little out of context but that's the message for you so i'm gonna go with it 
let me just go ahead and see what this earthworm so you may be a little bit shy, hesitant, reluctant um, to share inner, vo inner vision, okay? Um, Self-conscious, apprehensive is one of them, but also earnest, intelligent, and valuable. So just know you're very valuable and you have a lot um, within you, okay? And I feel like you're just, it's almost like you're being reborn and you being reborn is a very beautiful thing right but at the same time it's kind of really hard for you to get through so whatever this month brings for you just know that you're at the right place at the right time all right scorpio let's go ahead and see what you need to surrender things should be flowing very easily especially towards the end of the month with the six of cups here though okay equal give and take is what i'm saying you need to surrender to trust okay Um, I think that's that that has something to do with this card too. So don't so it says trust yourself in your decisions. Don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what you do. Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. So this goes very well with this card. Okay, just be confident, stand in your power. You're more powerful than you think. Okay, even though you may feel like you're just starting off in something, or you some of you may get a promotion. And this promotion is going to put you in a place of power, but you're going to feel like you can't do it. But realistically, you really can, you know, it's just a little intimidating at first. That's the, that's the energy I'm getting for you. So surrender to non-action. Now is the time to be still and not act. Simply breathe and focus on your own power. Let others come to you. So this is exactly what I'm getting. It's with this queen of wands energy where you stand assertive and you know what it is you want and you demand this respect. You demand this um, stability from other people especially when it comes to work and career so just remember that or even at school or even with friends whatever connections you're making with uh, making this month if if there's a connection that isn't really clicking scorpio what i'm getting is put it aside and let these people come to you you stand in your power ultimately okay so this is a very unexpected reading, okay? I wasn't expecting this, but I still feel like it's very beautiful and I feel like it can help, oops, excuse me, um, a lot of people here. I just saw one, two, three on the clock. So let's go ahead and see what's affecting Scorpio this month. What's, this, what's affecting Scorpio this month and what's the solution? So what's affecting Scorpio is healing, wow. Allow light to enter your wounds, okay? So allow the healing to take place okay in order to let your new chances new opportunities and beautiful blessings and maybe even dreams to come true because this resistance you're having to healing for those of you that resonate with that okay you have you have a dream that you've had since you were a child that you really can accomplish but you really have to work on just healing right now okay healing spending time in nature all right so let's get this is um the solution okay maybe you're dreaming something um as well in your dream state about what it is you want to do for work or a side gig or something like that uh let's see for my star seeds for all my star seeds out there let's see what this this deck has for you so we got star ancestors hidden secrets lost wisdom look a little deeper that's very interesting because that's what you get with this card as well and this card there's something about hiding you're hi you may be hiding something or there's something underneath the surface that's hiding like i said you may be hiding your feelings from other people when it comes to your work okay or you may be just um discovering secrets lost to wisdom you may be diving into occult matters or something or you may be working with something like that this month okay Let's get one more for my star seeds. This one's popping out. So we fall into my arms. Yeah, surrender. Holding the opposites. Extremes of life. So just surrender. Just give up. Like you get three surrender cards here. This is more like confirmation. Like just let go and trust that everything is going to work out as it should. Okay, Scorpio. Let's go ahead and pull out the Work Your Light Oracle. I love these cards. I feel like they're just like, I don't know. They're so nice. So let's go ahead and see. So here we get Star Mother. How can you mother yourself? Okay, for those of you that didn't really have a mother growing up or for those of you that have a hard time healing, okay, from any mother issues or mother 
um, relationships that didn't go very well. I can definitely resonate with that. So let's go ahead and see. You get dance with life. Do something to change your energy. So this is very interesting because can I show you something? The back of the deck energy of this is dance. So some of you may want to be professional dancers or some of you may want to dance or dance again. I feel like it is definitely possible. You just have to learn how to heal at the moment um, in order to come into your power when it comes to that, okay? So that's just a special message for some of you guys. I really hope you picked up something from here that was useful. I will see you guys at your next reading or your other signs. And, oh, you know what? Let me pull out some of these for you. I just saw them and I was like, you know what? I didn't do this for all the other signs, but I'm going to pull some of these for you. So since you are Scorpio, you might get some sexy ones that come through, okay? If you don't like those messages, then just ignore them. But yeah, they, there's some that came through. So, so first you get send your partner a seductive, suggestive selfie or text. So maybe this is... I'm sorry, my nails are so, so messed up right now, you guys. But anyways, suggestive selfie or text. All right, beautiful. You also get speak up when you would normally stay silent. Like I said in the beginning of the reading, you may have to share your emotions with somebody, even though you may feel like you don't want to. You may have to tell like your boss or your coworker or somebody like, hey, right now I'm not feeling very well. So you're going to have to tell somebody about your feelings here. Keep kindness at the forefront of your mind when solving a problem. Okay, so be kind, okay, in order to attract good karma. And also says be kind to the environment by reusing and recycling. So I feel like we can all resonate with that, with the earthworm card here that talks about, you know, earth and mother earth. And it's like you're a part of this world. You're a part of this earth. You know, you're this earthworm. You really need to learn how to take care of it as well because you live here too. Give up your seat on a train or bus. So this also talks about, you know, um, giving other people the opportunity or, um, well, I wouldn't say giving other people your opportunity, but, you know, just take whatever resonates with that one there. But that is all I have, Scorpio. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys at your next reading. Bye.